Yeah, folks, it's Saturday morning. Got to get the old Harley ready. Got, uh, got a couple inches of rain about two days ago. Got the moisture up in the ground. Got to take advantage of it, get the food plots planted. Relying on Mother Nature. Normally this time of the year, we're pretty dry around here, but we're getting a little bit of rain this year, so that's good. Gotta get the old Harley a little drink, of, get her a little drink of water, give her some breakfast, and she'll be ready to go. That radiator ain't leaking bad as it was. This old, this old tractor, it reminds me back when we were young how we used to go quail hunting on swamp buggies. There was a couple of these old fellers that, eh, we was just out of high school, but these old boys were about 10 years older than us. They built up these swamp buggies with one-ton trucks, weld the rear ends up, put a couple transmissions in them, put some chains on them, and they worked pretty good. They worked pretty good. But what we did, none of us had no bird dogs back then. So what we do, we get on the buggies and we go out there and we ride through the pine butter flats, flush the birds, shoot them, get off, get them, follow the cubby, pick them up again, a couple times, you know. But we was out there, me and my wife's first cousin, David, me and him and Mike, a guy named Mike, and uh, we're going along there and they busted a couple of birds and Covey got up, David got two of them, knocked two of them down. So we watched where the Covey went, told him to pile off and get his birds. We, we'd go to the Covey. Well, we went on and went on and we didn't get too far. And, oh dang, he hit, hit the brakes on that old flunk buggy and grabbed his shotgun, pointed it down at the ground on his side. And he said, oh, he's coming out your side. Well, I grabbed my shotgun. I said, what's coming? About that time I seen it, it was about a four and a half foot big diamondback rattlesnake. Well, I let him have it. Old Mike says, says, get down here and get that snake and put it back here in the bed back there and coil it up. All right, we'll do it. So I got down and got that snake, coiled him up in a nice little coil, put his head up looking up at you, you know. Eased around there to go get David. Mike told me, he says, do you make dang sure you get that shotgun from him before he gets in that buggy? I'm like, all right, I got it. We get over there and I, Put my hand out there, David. Give me a shotgun, buddy. He hands me a shotgun. Now, David. Now, David's about five foot six. He's about four foot around too. He's pretty agile for a big feller. He climbs up there and gets his foot on the chain, you know, and grabs a hold of the bed because he can't see down in it. He grabs a hold of the bed and up he goes. Well, he hit in that thing right in the middle of that rattlesnake. Bam! He's like a kangaroo out the other side. Whoo! Give me my shotgun. Give me my shotgun. I'm like, uh uh. <laughs> I ain't giving you this gun. You shoot me right off of this swamp buggy. He said, you better believe it. Give me that shotgun. <laughs> well, it took us about 10 minutes to calm him down and get him to say, okay, I ain't going to shoot none of you buttholes. So we went on and got a few more birds. That was a pretty good deal. We had fun that day. And, uh, of course, that, that just put one more on my list. And then paybacks. I'll get to telling you about them paybacks that I got later on, but... Uh, Whew. Had a lot of fun back then. All right, folks, this is Florida Cracker Outdoors. Y'all keep watching and subscribe. I'm going to go plant some food plots.